The force between two protons and a nucleus is actually quite big, but it's easier to calculate once we use our new energy units. Let's think about a helium-4 nucleus, which has two protons and two neutrons. For the purpose of, of our discussion, we'll just treat the protons and neutrons as billiard balls packed together. These protons actually have the same charge, and since they have like charges, they should repel. And you can ask yourself, what is it that keeps them together? Because there's got to be some force overcoming the electrostatic force and, it, and providing some attraction to, commit to pack this nucleus together because the protons themselves want to fly apart. One could ask if that's actually, if that new force is gravity. For the purpose of our calculation, it's helpful to know that the proton has a diameter on the order of one femtometer, which is 10 to the minus 15 meters, or one one millionth of a nanometer. If we think of these uh, constituents packed together in the nucleus uh, as closely as possible, like billiard balls, then the centers of the protons should be on the order of a femtometer apart. The, elect the electrostatic force between those protons should then be kq squared over r squared, where q is the charge of the proton. And in the units that we've discussed, uh, k is 1.44 eV nanometers, and each of the two proton charges is plus one. And the distance between them, if we want to make units work out well, we'll express it in nanometers, so uh, one, one millionth of a nanometer. This works out to be a force of 1.44 MeV per femtometer. Think back to uh, how we've used forces in the MKS system. An energy, an energy divided by a length is also equal to a force. So how big is 1.44 MeV per femtometer? Well, you can verify for yourself, and I hope that you'll do this. To convert back to the MKS, this works out to be about 300 joules per meter and a joule per meter is a newton. So this is 300 newtons of force between those two protons. That's equivalent to the Earth's pull on a 30 kilogram mass, or approximately a small child, a 60 pound child. Except there's a big difference. The protons are 29 orders of magnitude smaller. They're not a 30 kilogram mass. They are tiny. So there's no way that the gravitational force could pull these things back together uh, against the electrostatic force is something much stronger than traditional gravity must be at play here. And in fact, this new force uh, is called the strong force. It's just because of that fact that it had to be so much stronger. But it gives you some sense of the incredible orders of magnitude present, even at this atomic scale, when one starts looking at the simple things like the electrostatic forces between uh, nearby protons.